heart valves play an important role in making sure the blood flows in one direction through the heart. When heart valves become leaky, blood may flow backwards into the heart. Well, there are four major heart valves in the heart itself, and uh, the valves control the direction of blood flow. Uh, the blood has to go forward, and if it goes backwards, uh, patients end up having problems with breathing. They may feel short of breath or tired. Um, they may have leg swelling or easily fatigued. So for, for the heart valves uh, to, to work properly, um, they have to close properly. And if they don't close properly, if it's very severe leakage of blood backwards, then patients may have these symptoms. Take an example, the mitral valve. It, in a normal situation, when the heart squeezes, blood goes out through the aortic valve to the rest of the body, the brain, the kidneys, the liver. Um, the mitral valve prevents blood from going backwards into the lungs. When there is a leaky mitral valve, the blood goes backwards towards the lungs, and patients therefore can feel short of breath as the lungs get flooded with blood. Um, at the same time, because there is not enough blood going forward, the patients may feel uh, weak, tired, fatigued, and may not be able to exercise as much as they would like to. And in the long term, these problems result in heart failure. The patients can have uh, problems with uh, walking, sleeping, tiredness, difficulty breathing. They may have leg swelling, and um, with time, as the heart gets more swollen, it becomes harder to treat. So there are many causes for leaky heart valves. Sometimes it's due to uh, patients being born with an abnormal valve. Sometimes it's due to an infection. In certain instances, it's due to patients having some previous heart damage. For example, if a patient had a prior heart attack. Uh, other times, it's due to what we call degenerative valve disease, meaning as the valve ages, or if the valve tissue is not normal, the valve may become leaky. So there are many causes. Depending on the valve and the specific cause, it, it, the incidence or the likelihood of this happening as a patient ages may differ. For the, some of the most common valves, the, the, two, the two major things that we are worried about would be degeneration of the valve, and the second would be due to heart damage from other heart diseases such as heart attacks. and depending on the location, the treatment is slightly different. But broadly speaking, uh, heart valves, when they're leaky, can be treated with medications. The medications uh, serve to make the heart pump more efficiently so that blood flows forward and then less, uh, less of it goes backwards. It also supports the heart so that uh, the strength of the heart, very broadly speaking, is, is, is a bit better and that the kidneys help by getting rid of excess water. Now, in situations where the heart uh, no longer can cope even with medication, then surgery or some of the newer minimally invasive therapies may be possible. In general, however, if a patient is otherwise fit for surgery, we would recommend surgery to fix the leaky heart valves. Leaky heart valves result in blood flowing backwards into the heart, leading to symptoms such as breathlessness, fatigue, and swelling in the legs. Leaky heart valves may be brought about by infection, aging, or congenital problems. Mild cases of leaky heart valves can be controlled by medication, but surgery or interventional procedures will be required to treat more severe cases.